Hi, people, and hello, my Chili Con Carnage crew. It's Chili here, the man that produces Iron From My Eyes, and I'm doing a five minute review on Strung Out's newest album, Dead Rebellion. When I heard that Strung Out were releasing a new album, I was pleasantly surprised. I may not be the biggest fan, but from time to time, I would go back and listen to their album Suburban Teenage Wasteland, a supremely underrated 90s punk rock album, and for some reason I had it in my mind that the band had recorded very little after this, but then again, I don't follow them vehemently. To my surprise, the band has recorded many records since this album, even releasing an album only last year. And while I overlooked it for, of course, these five minute reviews, we are here now to check out their recent efforts. My initial playthrough left me very confused. What the hell am I listening to? Was this an error on the Apple Music library and potentially a different band under the same name? When the hell did Strung Out become such a generic metal band because Future Ghost just sounds so commonplace? What happened to that punk band from 30 years prior? Oh, right, 30 years passed by. Now, of course, I understand that bands evolve over time and change their style, but this change was nothing like I expected. Consider all the punk bands from the 90s and their transitions over time, such as, I don't know, No Effects, Lagwagon, Offspring, and you can see that they stay to the path and their fans love them for it. Of course, on the other hand, you have bands like AFI or Green Day, which changed it up and, of course, they saw success. The latter of the two usually involves a small sacrifice of the old school fans, but isn't always the case. With this album, I'm sure the fans will find it a worthy listen, and I'm certainly going to say it's not all bad, but the first half of the album definitely comes across as this, I don't know, odd version of the band trying to emulate Avenged Sevenfold. This is most prevalent on the vocal styles and guitar riff, and this was certainly a nagging thought throughout my playthroughs to the point that I actually had to stop and come back to this album at a later date. I'm not trying to put down on Avenged sevenfold but they do have an uncharacteristically annoying tone within their music and i really have to be in the right mindset to play their music by the way nightmare was their best album but back to the record and i certainly found that the second half of the record was the one that i enjoyed more which is odd because it kind of comes across as i don't know divorced dad rock territory hmm well disregarding this, the music found here just had a different vibe to the rest of the album. Just the vibe. Like the band were not trying to go for anything crazy, but play simple rocking tunes such as Resistance or Ceremony. And it was just fun to listen to. What do you want me to say about it? I mean, each of these tracks, when you're just going through the second half of the playlist to me, it was just certainly a better listen, and it just didn't bother me. Maybe it also helped that I actually skipped through the first half of the album, especially after that bad taste in my mouth. But hey, that's just my opinion on the matter. Overall, I'll give this album a score of 5 million chilies on the spicy scale, with my favourite tracks being Resistance, Ceremony, and Dystopian Party Bus. At times, there are parts of the album where the band almost springs to life, true to their former selves, and in particular on Dystopian Party Bus. Now, people are certainly going to comment and say, stop living in the past, and of course, it's perfectly fine for me to do so if I choose. I mean, that's what I want to do, and that's how I'll enjoy their music. And that's my prerogative at the end of the day. If you enjoyed this album, then that's your prerogative. Neither of us are wrong, and neither of us are right. But I can't stress this enough. I'm not saying it's a bad album. I just am probably not going to rush back to this anytime soon. If you've enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to us, and stay notified for future music-related content because it keeps our manager happy at the end of the day. We are also on Discord, Instagram, Facebook, and all those other social platforms if you want to check us out. As always, people, you have a great day and stay spicy.